Hey guys, my name is Callum, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're going to be discussing the topic of quality assurance. I'm aware I haven't posted for a little while and that's why today I thought it would be a good idea just to kind of actually explain what my job is and what I do. You might have heard me mention in the last few videos that I'm a software tester. Essentially this falls under the practice of quality assurance. Now briefly before I explain what quality assurance is and what it means to be a software tester, I kind of just wanted to point out that I think this isn't a job that's really that well advertised. You see for me it's my personal story that I always tried to learn to code when I was younger it's quite difficult for me to learn to code but I was still quite interested in the technical side of things and with me still wanting to try and work within the technology industry I found that actually the software tester was a great job for me to do that. Throughout this video you'll probably hear me mention the terms software testing and quality assurance and just know that for the most part they're interchangeable and mean the same thing. In a team of a company, in a technology company, where you have the developers or engineers, those are the people who write code, they're called software engineers or software developers, but essentially once the software developers are done programming it and coding the app, it will then move further down the line before being released into what's known as quality assurance. Now what is quality assurance? Well in many different industries it kind of means the same thing, to assure that something is of high enough quality. Now the level of quality is something that you'll have to determine within the company that you work for and and will usually be set out in the guidelines and frameworks by your managers. Now to specifically answer the question of what is quality assurance within testing or what is software testing, software testers like myself will talk with the developers, the programmers, to see what parts of the code have been edited, what functionality has been changed, and go through and start testing that product as if they were an end user. Although to be honest, that's not even exactly true because there are many different types of ways to test a product. The type of testing that I mentioned just there falls under end user testing. This is testing as if you're the end user using that product and you're gonna be just testing the product out probably manually and in this case you might have an app or a website that you're clicking buttons on or you're going through logging in and you'll be following a set step of routines that are probably written out in what's called a test plan. Long story short, a test plan is just a written document that contains the steps and the procedures of the scope, the things that you do want to test and that you don't, and guidelines for the tester so he or she knows when the testing is done. From within a technology company's perspective on why they should have quality assurance, they'll easily be able to see some of the benefits of software testing, such as improved software quality and reduced risks of errors and bugs. A very widely known tool within technology for software testing is Selenium. This is a tool the software tester will use to help automate the flow of their job. And just before we go, sorry if my voice is sounding a bit nasally, I haven't been that well recently and yeah it sucks because it's coming to summer and I would have thought actually the colds would have been over but no. And so quickly to recap, quality assurance is used both within manufacturing and service sectors like technology. This is mainly where you're going to find it and it's used within both of these industries. And quality assurance within technology is there to save programmers time and there is an extra layer of confidence, making sure that bugs and errors don't get through to production code. And QA makes sure that the product meets the end user requirements that were set out in the planning phase. And finally, just before the video ends, the kind of the bonus tip that I kind of mentioned already at the start is that I really think that this is a good way into technology. As I was saying when I was in school, there's no mention whatsoever from, you know, However nice the careers people were, there was just no mention of software tester as a potential job role within technology. Just like I'm sure with many industries that like all these little tiny jobs are all left out. And that's kind of what I'm starting to realise now is that there's a whole array of jobs to go around within technology, within law. Um, all of my friends that have gone into these various different industries or are looking to go into them have all kind of figured out that actually there's way more jobs that anyone could suit you, meaning that there's a great chance that you'll find something that you like. But yeah, this is something that I'm just figuring out round about now and shortly with my company I'm going to be going off to various events uh, in London for trade shows and looking at company experts and the industry experts and discussing our technology which is within VR and augmented reality and touch-free, touchless applications. So yeah, it's all really exciting and I can't wait to get more stuck into QA. So I highly recommend that if you're looking to get into technology and maybe you're not so much of a programmer yet, then QA or software testing might be a thing for you. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching another video. I appreciate it was a little while since I uploaded my last one, but I'll be coming up with another video very shortly. And for now, wherever you're watching, have a great rest of the day and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.